morning, folks. Please find your seats. As the superintendent of the Patterson Great Falls National Historical Park, it is my privilege and honor to welcome all of you here on this beautiful October day for a ceremony that every year just touches my heart to watch people just become citizens of this great nation. So good morning and welcome. Soon, you all will be co-owners of these Patterson Great Falls and you will be co-owners of Yosemite and Yellowstone yes, yes. and Acadia, right Mayor? You've yes. been to all those places. Well, not, yet. not yet. The Grand Canyon, the Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, all of the places natural and cultural and historic that make America what it is and tell the story of her glory and sometimes of her inglorious past, all of those places in these United States will soon belong to you. The national parks have been called America's best idea. And we will all together be stewards of that best idea after today. We will all be Americans charged with preserving our natural and cultural resources for this generation and all future generations. And that includes these great falls. Before I hand the ceremony over to our Master of Ceremonies, I want to give a personal thanks to someone who's been organizing these events um, with the Park Service now for eight years, Cruz Budes. Can you come up here, please? Take your time. I've got a, a National Park Service arrowhead in recognition of the United States Citizenship Immigration Services, the Newark Field Office, something to put on your wall because you and I have been doing this for a long time and I, I want you to all year to look at your wall and go, oh, that's Darren. So. <laughs> And with that, I'm going to turn it over to our Master of Ceremonies with United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, Paul Correa. Thank you, Mr. Bach, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and distinguished guests. Please stand for the presentation of colors, followed by the National Anthem. That our 
flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet away o'er the land of the free and the home of the And a big thank you to the Irvington High School Junior ROTC and to Ramir Williamson from the Patterson New City Kids for that beautiful rendition of the National Anthem. How about a round of applause for them? <laughs> On behalf of the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, it is my sincere pleasure to welcome you to this morning's naturalization ceremony. My name is Paul Correa and I am the Deputy District Director with U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services for the Newark District. It is my honor to serve as your Master of Ceremonies this morning. I'm going to be introducing um, Mayor Andre Saeg, who's going to be offering the opening remarks. Andre Saeg assumed the office of Mayor of Patterson on July 1st of 2018, focusing his administration on issues that resonated during his campaign, stabilizing property taxes, improving public safety, and driving economic development. He is determined to inspire a renaissance in the third largest city in New Jersey, driven in part through tourism, and economic development around the city's greatest natural resource, the Patterson Great Falls National Historical Park. He graduated with highest honors from Seton Hall University with a bachelor's degree in history. Later, Mayor Saig earned a master's degree in public policy and administration from Columbia University and served as president of the student government. Patterson is the only home he has ever known. He was born and raised in the city and is currently raising his three children, two daughters and a son, in the Lakeview section with his wife, uh, Farhana. Mayor? Muy buenos dias. You didn't expect that. Marhaba. Yes. Good morning. My fellow Americans. It's appropriate that we're here because behind, the, behind you, is Hinchliffe Stadium, which is the real field of dreams, where athletes, past, present, and in the future, will have opportunities to excel at that field. Behind us, the Great Falls, where I make the argument that is the birthplace of the American dream. It is where an immigrant with an idea drew more immigrants to this area through innovation and industrialization. So, so when you add it all up, those are the ingredients of the American dream. Immigration, the industrialization, innovation, and then even more immigration. I'm proud of the fact that you have come from far away here to this country to ultimately call it home. Many of you have come from the Dominican Republic. I know you could be louder than that. I'm not sure if anyone's told you, but Patterson is the capital of the Dominican Republic in the United States of America. And you've come as far as the Philippines and Jordan and all over this globe coming here to achieve the American dream. What's not stated in my biography, and thank you, you heard that very well, I'll take you everywhere I go now, is that I'm a son of immigrants. My father is from Lebanon. My mother is from Syria. And I remember my mother telling me the story of when she was about to take the test 
to become a United States citizen. And she went with a friend who was about to take that test. And her friend was what you would call a little overconfident. She thought she knew it all. So when she was taking the test, this is her friend of course, not my mother. When they asked the first question, who was the first president of the United States? Her friend confidently said, George Washington Bridge. <laughs> I still don't think that lady is a citizen yet. <laughs> At least she didn't say Abraham Lincoln Tunnel, right? But I'm glad that you know George Washington was the president of the United States. I'm glad that you know Joe Biden is the president of the United States. And I am honored to call you fellow Americans. Welcome and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mayor. So momentarily, we'll celebrate America's newest citizens, and we are here today to help you take that last step in your journey as immigrants to this country. Forty candidates have come here to pledge allegiance to the United States of America. In a few moments, you will recite the Oath of Allegiance, which marks the final step in your journey to becoming American citizens. For more than 220 years, taking this oath has led to American citizenship. Some of the language that you'll recite dates back to 1790, when the first naturalization laws were passed. Every year, over one million immigrants come to this country from around the world to seek better lives for themselves and for their families. You have many things in common, including your commitment to becoming U.S. citizens. But, by the same token, you're a very diverse group. You have come from 15 different countries around the globe. In a few moments, you will stand as one and become citizens of the United States of America. Candidates, I will now call the names of your country of origin. I ask that you stand and remain standing until all countries have been called, and please feel free to acknowledge each country by a round of applause. Start with Belarus. <laughs> Bolivia. <laughs> Colombia. Dominican Republic. Hungary. India. Italy. Jamaica. Jordan. Kyrgyzstan, Mexico, Pakistan, Peru, Philippines, and Poland. At this time, I'd like to invite Director Thompson to join me. Director Thompson. Each of the 40 candidates has been personally examined under oath by a designated officer. Each has demonstrated an understanding of the English language, unless exempt, and knowledge and understanding of the fundamentals of history and principles in form of the government of the United States. Each has been found to be a person of good moral character, attached to the principles of the Constitution of the United States, and well disposed to the good order and happiness of the United States. The investigations of the government have been completed in their cases, and each has been found to meet all requirements of the law to be naturalized. Director Thompson, the candidates are ready to take the oath. Okay, good morning. Are you ready? Yes. This is your very last step for becoming citizens of the United States. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I hereby declare on oath that absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, potentate, state or sovereignty, of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen, that I will support and defend 
the Constitution and laws of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear truth, faith, and allegiance to the same, that I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by the law, that I'll perform non-combatant service in the armed forces of the United States when required by the law, that I'll perform work of national importance under civilian direction when required by the law, and that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me God. Congratulations, our newest viewers. Thank you, Director Thompson, and congratulations. Welcome home, my fellow citizens. Um, at this time, I'd like to introduce Mohammed El Falali from the Hamilton Partnership for Patterson, who's going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Buenos dias. Magandang humaga. Jin dobre. Buongiorno. I'm delighted to take the, uh, this honor to take the Pledge of Allegiance with you, as we are all now one people under the flag of the United States. Repeat after me, please. I pledge the allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands under God, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Thank you. You may be seated.